Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and in this video, we're gonna see how we can perform a zoom gesture on a particular mobile, right? So, so we have seen tap, double tap, long press in the previous videos, and those videos are very important in order to understand this particular video. So, highly recommend to watch the previous videos in this playlist before heading towards this video, right? Without wasting much time, let's uh, get into the IntelliJ. Uh, maybe first I will explain what I'm actually going to do. So let me open the emulator and there is this Sauce Lab app that I'm using. So so there is uh, not really good uh, you know place where I could explore, explain the zoom gesture. But uh, you know what I thought was maybe after opening this app, there is something called a drawing here. So maybe this is the place that I would use to to explain the zoom. So let's say I want to do a zoom so there are two fingers involved so i have to press both my fingers at, at, a, at the uh, some point in the center and then I, you can perform zoom multiple ways like you can move your finger with one way in this direction and the another finger in this direction right that is also a zoom you can also perform zoom by moving this here and then moving this here again the length can also be changing so you know it's up to you like how how big you want to perform the zoom so there are a lot of things into consideration, but in my opinion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the center and then just move this here, uh, you know, just some place and then here as well. So this is how I'm going to perform a zoom. Uh, so so it, you can consider this like this, okay? This is uh, basically the, you know, X axis, this is the X axis and this is the Y axis, okay? Assume the, the Y axis is, let's say, 1000, and this is 500, and then you want to find the center of the place element, right? So, so this should be, the center point should be uh, 250 in the X, and the Y axis, it should be 500. So you need to find the center of the element, right? So that's what we want to do. Um, so yeah, so this is how we are going to do. So we have already returned methods to basically find how, the center of the element so maybe let's remove all this stuff and then see uh this is the code that i'm using to launch the app and then i'm clicking on the hamburger menu and clicking on drawing button and this is the drawing screen so this is the web element that i want and this is also the center point of the web element so i have done till here i i, I done till here now what i want to do is i want to put two two of my fingers here move one one uh, you know, one of the finger to the northeast and another one to the southwest so that it can perform the zoom operations, right? So that's what we're going to do. So again, guys, if you haven't watched my previous videos, please do watch them. So first thing we need is we need the pointer inputs. Basically, the pointer input here is kind of touch and let's call it as finger one. So there are two fingers involved here. We call it as finger one and uh, yeah. And I also need to perform sequence of events with this. So, so I want to perform sequence of events using the finger one. And then um, what else it's asking for? So it will ask for an initial length. The initial length, let's assume this to be one, which means, you know, uh, we are not pausing any act uh, default actions to this. So, so just pass one there. And then after that, what you want to do is, you know, we can perform the sequence of actions. So, you could say dot add action. So first thing that I want to do is once you have the center of the element, I have first have to move my uh, you know finger to the center of the element. Even though I'm not pressing it, I have to just uh, go on top of the mobile, right? So that's what we want to do. So so that's what I'm going to do is finger one dot create pointer move. Uh, so I don't want to take a lot of time for this. So you can go as quickly as possible to the center of element and uh, and apart from that, what are the other parameters it's accepting? So the origin is uh, the viewport, the origin dot viewport. The viewport means it's the it's a screen, it's a mobile screen that that is visible to our eyes, and the and the center of the element where I want to move my fingers to. That's all. Once you are done with this, I, I want to perform. Now I am on top of the mobile. I need to press my finger on the mobile screen. So I have to just tell finger one dot create pointer down and then so the mouse button dot left button 
as socks. Again, guys, I have explained all these things in the previous videos. So I'm just going a little fast. So once I press my fingers, I not I need to wait for a few seconds, right? So uh so I say you know uh new pass and then finger one, how much second I want to do a pass? So of millis, maybe 200 milliseconds is what I want. Once you are done with this, now you have already pressed your finger there. Now you want to move your finger to the, uh, let's assume this is finger one, right? So you need to move your finger to the northeast. So that's what I'm going to do here. So finger one uh, dot create pointer move. Uh, and then the same thing. So what is the duration? So I want to take a little bit of time for moving this. So maybe 200 milliseconds. Uh, and then and then this is also the origin dot viewport and where I want to move. So I want to move. So I don't know this point where I want to end this. But that one in the x-axis, let's assume I want to move 100 points. And the y-axis, I want to move 100 points. Okay. So this is like a fourth quadrant. So, so what, what I want to do is in the x-axis, I have to add 100. And the y-axis, I'm going on to the top, right? So if you come here, so let's assume this is zero in y-axis, then this is thousand, okay? If this is 500, if I move, if I want to go to the top, then it should be 400. So then I have to minus, do a minus of 100. So, so the x-axis, what I'm saying is center of the element dot get x, okay? And I want to add 100 to it, right? And then comma, center of the element dot get y minus 100, right? So this is what I want to move. Once I move there, I want to take my finger out, right? So finger one dot create pointer up, okay? What are the finger that I pressed down there? I just copy this and I'll put it here. That's it. So this is the sequence of operation that my finger one will do. So the finger two also does the same thing, but once this is sequence two, this is finger two, right? So let's copy this, put it all over here, right? And then let's create this finger two. So let's replicate this line, finger, finger two, right? this is also finger two, right? So everything is good here, but you know, here I have to reduce the x-axis by 100 and increase the y-axis by 100. So this is all simple mathematics. So x-axis I want to end by 100, y-axis I want to plus 100. That's it guys. Once you have, now you want to perform these two sequence of events at once. So what you want to do is driver dot perform. You want to pass it as a collection of sequence. So what you can do is erase dot as list, pass the sequence one and the sequence two, right? That's it. So now you should perform the zoom operation. Let's try to run and check what's happening. You should launch the app to navigate to that particular page drawing. And now we should perform the zoom. See, it has, see, it is not actually zooming in, but you can see it, it just performed similar operation. So it, one of the finger gone here and one of the one gone here. So this, if you are using in a place where you could zoom, it will actually do zoom it. Again, the zoom is very small. You can also, you know, increase the, here we are using plus 100 and minus 100. You can also increase to plus 200 and minus 200. Or you can, you can have it as a relative length instead of adding 100 or minus 100. You can have it as a relative length to the element. It's all up to you. But this is how basically you can perform complex operations like zoom. Right, so idea is same. If you want to do a three swing, three finger swipe, you can also do. But the idea is same. So construct the sequence class. You know, understand how you want to do this. Uh, imagine in your mind how you would do this, uh, and then write the code exactly for that. If you want a three three sequence of events, you could also add three, and then you could get them done. So so this is how you can perform any gestures with APM. Right. I hope this video is useful. I will see you guys in another great video. Until then, tada, bye-bye from all that. Bye.